Alright, back in Donkey Kong. Let's go back to 6-1. Airplane. Get off the screen, mouse. But go over there, where I'm less likely to bump you. And now we've got wind pushing us constantly to the right. Thankfully, ladders negate wind. Why do I want this? I don't actually want that. I mean, sure, it would make it easier to get the umbrella, but... I don't... I have 99 lives already, I don't need the umbrella. Okay, remember that keyhole. Because it's important. Why do I want to go up? For bonus items, I guess. There we go. And now I can go up to go to the key. And unfortunately, jump. This isn't a conveyor belt, so jumping doesn't make me go faster. Go down. There we go. I guess you don't really need to remember which keyhole is the target in this one. Because you can just easily... I mean, I guess you do need to remember it's not this top one. But other than that, you can just walk across the rest and it will give you the win. This one you do need to remember to go back to start. Which is very simple. Well, that was... That was scary. Anyway, boss time. Already. This is a very short game. And yeah, you can just hold on to the lever to also negate wind. Wow. Okay, conveyor belt also trying to push you to the right on top of the wind. <laughs> what a fun idea. You could have made that, Mario. Wow, I gotta wait for so many lives. Got seven lives that I didn't get. Because I have too many. Mario's just stuffed his pockets with green shrooms. He can't carry anymore. I did not mean to grab that. Whatever. I don't need to go all the way across anyway. I don't remember which keyhole is which. Well, it's not that one. So I guess I'll just keep experimenting. Till one of them finally gives me one. Yeah, of course, it's the last one. No, I almost said Princess wants helps. Oh, I don't think Pauline is a princess. Okay, 
This time, let's actually just wait for the moving platforms. Yeah, don't... Don't try to fling yourself from the edge of that diagonal rope. I don't know what causes it, but... That it will glitch you out and make you roll to the right when you land, which will send you straight into spikes! So yeah, you want to try and like, center yourself. There we go. And there. Nice easy level when I don't fuck it up. And jump too early like I did. Okay, so remember, it's the, the keyhole all the way up there. Can't jump onto ladders. Gotta specifically plant your feet. There we go. I just kind of grab that to refresh the time limit. There we go. Ugh. Why didn't I just pull the lever? Like that. There we go. Up it goes, and this should be the correct keyhole. Yay! And wow, look at that, we're already at the end of the airplane. Oh. He made that barrel nice and convenient for me! Ooh. Okay, I just keep almost... almost falling off. There we go. Yeah, you can probably see, like, how I figured out exactly how the special jumps work by the fact that I keep doing them on accident. I mean, I guess the duck jump isn't too hard to figure out based on, on like, what the tutorials show you, but the somersault tutorial does not show you that skid at all. So yeah, that's kind of more something I would have figured out by accident, probably. I don't... I don't think there's any other cutscene showing the backflip. Also, yeah, we gotta wait for the fireball to melt the ice. Because that's a new thing in this level. And then it's gonna go off screen despawn. Like, I don't know what happens to it. Well, that was my convenient. But I need to. Oh, no! I need to make it go down so I so I can go down. Okay, this seems like a simple solution that I almost messed up because I. But I recovered, it's fine. Wow, look at these moving platforms that aren't moving. Wonder how you deal with those. Of 
course you're in the lever area. This guy's an asshole. I hate him so much. But he just... The stev sh he decided to not show off why I hate him. So that works. Yeah, what happens is... When you swim above him, he will just jump up and then latch onto you. And then you're just stuck with him latched onto you for a while. Get out of here, you weird, like, slug thing. Okay, you cannot swim with the key. So make sure you do not fall into water with the key, or you have to wait for it to respawn. Now invisible keyhole right there! Make sure you paid attention to that. Get out of here, penguins. Here we go. Be nice and easy. Just a nice introduction to uh, invisible keyholes. Which I don't think come up again once you leave the iceberg. I think there's specifically an iceberg feature. Oh yeah, good thing I didn't jump to that platform. Oh. Well, that was unfortunate. Kiss. Oh, Donkey Kong, reversing the platforms kind of made a mess of things, didn't it? Ooh. Yeah, I do not want those other platforms to be going down. Come on, reverse the platforms again. There you go. Come. Ah! Of course, I just started going down the ladder when I expected just. Oh shit! Motherfucker! I don't remember how to do this level. I don't remember having problems with this. Uh, apparently, right now, it's just like, what this felt entirely impossible. Okay. Obviously, I need something to deal with the fact that these are going down. Or, you know, I can just... ...do it that easily. Alright, well, already regained the two lives I lost there. Oh, look at that, icicles fall! Of course, the icicles are going to be trying specifically to kill you in the future. As in, probably right now. Yep, there's icicles. No, you get to learn, oh yeah, they f fall specifically at you. Oop, can't pick you up. Alright, let's just swing up. Come on. Oh, there's another one regrowing. There it is. Yay. Fine, I'll pick up the purse. I lost a life. Might as well, right? No, I, I would have just gotten it back after the boss. 
There was no need to pick up the purse. Oh boy! There we go. Let's get ready to make him fall. Well, since when were fall guys made of fire? Okay, let's just hang left. There we go. Why did I do that? Aren't there supposed to be like fireballs up there? Somewhere? Okay, there we go. Uh, hmm. I forgot to give myself a platform. There we go. Alright, 7-7. Seven -seven. It's another floating keyhole, which means it's got a platform for that as well. Use that ladder to get the one up. But if you scroll screen down, you also use the ladder to progress. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, I think I just did that backwards. Whatever, it's fine. I really wish I just brought the key around to kill that squid. Let's go ahead and hit this to reset the timer. And there we go. Just hang out on this. I don't know, there's probably some reason you don't want to swim. You know, as in you can't... It probably has something to do with the fact that the jump to get out of the water is way too high. Yeah, <sighs> there we go. Ah! That was close. Well, oh, another seven lives. Yeah, icebergs sure do sink. But Mario can swim. Which was required in an earlier level. So, like, this did not teach us anything new. Just chasing the giant monkey all across the iceberg. What does this do? Yeah, I'm gonna need that. Oh, there. Make the icicles fall so I can jump across. Let's climb up here and make everything available. And then I jump too early. So that platform above the keyhole is entirely unnecessary.
Well, that almost went very poorly. Oh, wait. Forgot. Send forth the icicles. Oh, I somehow didn't grab the purse this time. There we go, one down. And two down. This loop. They look so disgusting. Yeah, now we gotta learn how to jump off icicles that are still falling. And, you know, I could also fail to do so. Here we go. Come on, there we go. Got the ladder. The keyhole's up there. This is gonna be a difficult invisible keyhole. Right. We want the ladder on that. There we go, now I can just wait. Good enough, I guess. Well, that's a good signifier of where the keyhole is, huh? Uh, n like, not... Uh, I might be in trouble. Yep. Fireball is very fast. I mean, I guess if I grab this first, yeah, this tells you exactly where the keyhole is. Hole oh, is because you can't place stuff over it. Here we go. That should give me enough time to to escape. Oops. All right. Place another item, like right here, I guess. And that's as high as I need the bridge. That should be good. Let's just fly off the edge of the platform. It's fine. Oh right, I remember the problem with the, the side ones on this level. It's that they can overlap with the icicles. And all that. Yeah, I think the only actual fight that's not Three hits to win is the final boss. 
But there's a good reason for that. And we'll see that when we reach it. Here we are at the longest world in the game, Rocky Valley. Let's go straight into the water and grab this key. Get out of here. Oh, I guess I killed both. Well, let's not let that drag me down. This time, let's actually jump. Now, I could jump all around the right side, but why do that? Because I felt like it. Wow, it really did not make him move over to the other side. I guess I had to place it... Place that one tile to the right to make him do that. Yeah, let's not hit any of these sand blocks. What is the point of this? I don't know, but I'll pull it anyway. Welp! Okay, that guy didn't escape. Well, that's nice and easy as long as you don't hit the sand blocks. Because those porcupines will just kill you. So if you tap really fast, you can actually swim up above. But I think I'll show off the actual level. Or, you know, die trying. Yeah, let's swim down this waterfall. Because swimming in waterfalls is something people do, right? Come on, there we go. I took too many tries. And there we go. Keyhole. I guess I was considered going fast. Or something. At this point, I just don't know what that means anymore. Well, shoot, now I go. Wait for him to put the bridge back up. Come on. Just being very rude right now. Oh god. That was horrible timing. Really? Well, that time I just got over before he made the bridge go away. Kung Kung's being very helpful this time around. No, we haven't seen Junior in a long time. Not since the jungle.
But like, we saw Junior get off the plane. So I don't really entirely know what's up. <laughs> 